I came here because you guys asked for me. <laughs> so sleepy. I don't want to do this for I'm gonna have to call you right back. I have some things to attend to, okay? Right. Hi guys. Hi. How is everybody doing today? I'm good. Quite nervous actually. <laughs> well, you don't have to be nervous. It's just a forum after all. Yeah, yeah, okay. Tia, aren't you nervous? You know, I'm actually nervous too because here in this email, they said we are thrilled to make you a leader for this forum discussion as you are one of the most successful young entrepreneurs in Malaysia. Why me? I mean, they did say that they, they say that they were thrilled to make you a leader for that forum discussion as you are one of the most successful young entrepreneurs in Malaysia. Well, because you are. Take it as a compliment for more, for once. Okay then. But... No buts. You will be an excellent leader for this. Aww. <laughs> Thanks guys. Wait, wait, wait. What did you guys write for your forum speech? I think we should discuss this first so that we don't mess this up. Oh, I'm so scared. I don't have much point, but it's enough to elaborate, I guess. Okay, okay. Let's check so our points are all lined up and make sense. So mine is. All right, guys, are you ready? No, I want to cry. You're so dramatic, like a llama. Excuse me, <laughs> more like an overly dramatic orange cat. Hey, I am not that dramatic, okay? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Cut it out, guys. The phone is about to start, so let's get a heads on it. Alright guys. You. Wow. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I hope this forum will be beneficial for the audiences. Let's hope today's forum will be successful. Whatever happens, it's Charles' fault. Okay guys? What? Why me? Okay, let's go. Yeah. on how to start an online business. Nowadays, there are many ways of starting an online business. But since it's the modern age, <sighs> scams and con artists are getting way out of hand with the technologies that have evolved. We will be going step by step with oh, sorry, we will be going step by step on how to set up a business with precautions that we need to take to prevent society from becoming victims to those scams. Oh, sorry. Do you need to sip some water? No, it's okay. Alright, now, how can we use social media to start an online business? 
Any ideas? Before we can answer that, let's talk about why we should start an online business, especially on social media. As we all know, technological advances are ever expanding. Most of us have access to the internet. <clears throat> Their social media allows you to post content worldwide. Therefore, social media is a great place for you to advertise your business to reach a wider market. That's right. Social media is a very powerful tool for new entrepreneurs uh, to start their own businesses. The first step is to building an online business is to choose uh, the which social media platform you want to advertise your business. For example, in Malaysia, I will talk to you uh, social media platforms of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Although there are doubles use social media, um, there are also other platforms you can use to start your business, such as Twitter, Telegram, and TikTok. Exactly. The younger generations are fond of those apps, which leads to our next discussion Who is our target audience? We must know which demographic we want to sell our products to. This can allow our business to have a stable following. It is always better for us to have more, which is why we have to advertise our business as inclusive. Correct. We can create trendy or popular content on social media like a ski, uh, information posters and video edits. This will definitely cause engagement and create engagement Sorry, with users on social media and get businesses a call following. Oh, and then we can create targeted advertisement about the product that we sell. But before we can do that, we must find out who our audience is before we can advertise our product. Yes, that's right, because we need to know what their needs and wants are. We can begin our businesses by targeting specific consumers before um, expanding to a larger audience. Um, other than that, we can study uh, our competitors who has more experience than us. Um, to get the gist of how we can cater the customer's preferences. We can also create a website for our products. We can let our customers know about <coughs> the upcoming products that we will come out with and attract new customers. This can be done with eye-catching and creative logos based on current trends. Most importantly, the website must be user-friendly as we want it to be easier for the customers to purchase our products. Good point, Cheryl. But instead of building a new website, we can use e-commerce websites such as Shopee, Lazada, and Carousel. Some social media even have their own built-in shopping section like TikTok and Instagram. This is not only useful for entrepreneurs to commercialize their product, but most people already are already familiar with those apps. Therefore, they can just buy those products through those apps. Right. Great points, you guys. Now that we talk about the steps of setting up an online business, let's talk about our next topic, which is precautions to avoid falling victims to scams as someone who lacks experience in setting up a business online. Now, Mike, what do you think about the steps that consumer must do to avoid this matter? I think um, they have to be cautious about those too good to be true deals or promotion. They will have to do some research first before they jump onto the bandwagon. Um, don't believe anything you see and read, right? Yeah. <laughs> also, customers need to be careful when giving out information when they start dealing with other people or businesses. If they already follow the first step that we give out, then this won't be a problem because they are real and trustworthy. This is vital because they can use or sell customers' personal information without them knowing. This will eventually lead to complications and your party to the livelihood of you and your business. We don't want that, do we? No, not at all we don't. Oh, and for our part as an entrepreneur, we can check the supplies background to make sure that everything is safe in order for us to not be scammed by them too. And this can be done by verifying their credibility. Yeah, and we can also protect our customers' privacy so they can feel more secure when they are buying our products. Alright, thank you so much guys for joining this forum. This has opened my mind regarding the things that we should do to start an online business on social media, set up an online business, and the precautions to avoid falling into scams. We have to make sure our eyes are peeled in on this stuff that, so that we will be able to create the best experience when it comes to creating a business. I also want to say thank you to Young Entrepreneur SDI and the HD 
for inviting all of us to this forum. I really hope that um, this forum will be beneficial for us, not for the, not only for us, but for the audience too. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for coming to the forum. Oh my god, that was traumatizing. <laughs> but it was fun though. And I learned about what the shoot and shouldn't. Oh, and Tila, you were wonderful. Really? Yes, you were amazing, girl. Honestly, I have to give it to you. Um, guys, um, I think my stomach just gave me a sick. What, you want to go? Uh, no. Guys. <laughs> <laughs>